Hey folks, welcome back to part two of street casting. And today we are in the street. I got two unique skill tests that we're gonna work on today. One is distance. We're gonna set a, a cat box up and then I'm gonna stand down there about 60 feet. I've got it measured out. And I'm gonna try to drop that lure into that hole. And then I'm also gonna do another unique type of casting. You know, in the Yucatan here, I get the fish up and inside of mangroves quite often. And you can't cast. So it's called the slingshot. And we're gonna work on that and I'm gonna show you all about it here in just a little bit. So y'all grab your fishing rods, grab you a little box or a bucket, and let's do some street casting. Stay tuned. Guys, I got my mark here at 60 feet. The box is up there. I'm gonna start with the 6.6 rod. That was pretty close. So again, you could do this with anything. I was out here the other day with a five gallon bucket, probably out of 30 cash. I dropped it in a couple of times. I wanted to make it Ah, oh, just a bit more exciting for you guys here. Ah, oh, there you go. Just over that box. Let's see if we can get it in there again. Oh, I'd call that a drop in. Oh, that was close. Are you serious? I did it. Yes. I did it. Yeah. That rocked. All right, folks, it is time now for the slingshot. This will be probably one of the hardest casting skills you'll need to learn if you're gonna fish up inside the mangroves. And as you've seen on our TV show, Yucatan English TV, over the last couple of years, we've been fishing right up inside those mangroves for the snook and the tarpon. And these are areas that you just cannot do a sideways or an overhead cast got to use the slingshot cast to get this lure back up into those waterways underneath the mangroves. And this is also a great technique if you're bass fishing on a lake and you're up against those docks and uh, you've only got about a foot or two of water or a foot or two of space between the water and the dock. Slingshot that up underneath there and catch those big fish that, that are hiding underneath those docks. So the key here first and foremost is to use a six foot rod, six, six rod, a smaller rod, seven and eight foot, nine foot rods just aren't gonna work inside those mangroves. What you wanna do is you want this line to be down about to where your reel is. You can actually do it just a little higher up as well, but not that high, but. Grab your line, open the bail. Grab the lure, right next to the hook. Mind you, I have to cut off of this so the cats don't get themselves hooked. When you hold your rod, you want to hold it with the lure or the, the reel facing away from you. Pull this thing back. Give yourself a good aim. Grab the line, open the bale. Got this just about down to here. You can do it from here as well. You don't want it really far up because you won't be able to grab it. Again, the reel facing away from you. Hold that thing. <laughs> I 
Well, folks, thanks for joining me here on Street Casting. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I had a blast putting this together for you. You know, there's nothing more rewarding when you're out fishing and you make that perfect cast and you hook that fish. And practice makes perfect, y'all. This is something you could do at the house. I know this Corona-19 pandemic is uh, it's affecting all of us. Not a lot of stuff to do when they make you stay at the house. So get yourself a bucket. Set you up a couple of targets. Get out there and practice casting. Because again, practice makes perfect. Y'all stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay home. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Adios.